Welcome Virgos. I'm back with another video. So let's talk. Let's talk about November. Let's see what's coming towards you for the month of November. All right, this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign and Venus of Virgos, okay? If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on future videos, all right? If you want to book a personal read, guys, that information to the website is in the description box, all right? So check out the description box, okay? So let's talk Virgos. Let's see what we got for my Virgos. Let's see, Virgo. Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo? What message do we have for Virgo? What message do we have for Virgo? Virgo. All right. So, ooh, at the bottom of the deck, guys, we got that Ten of Swords energy. I'm getting a no, a big ending. Um, the seven of cups in reverse as well. I'm getting the ending to a situation or a betrayal. The magician, the sun card, the king of cups reverse, the eight of swords reverse, the hangman, the eight of cups reverse. Queen of Wands reverse, Emperor reverse, Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. You guys are having regrets. It's something like you, you, mm -mm, something's not right about a situation. The Ace of Wands reverse, that's like a no. That's a flat out no. Like, are they crazy? <laughs> okay, it's like no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're trying to get find a way out of a situation. You're trying to find a way out of a situation. Yeah, you don't want to. Mm. I feel like with the Page of Cups reverse, you aren't saying something. You may want to, but you, you're not sure. If you should say something or how you should say it. Oh, okay. The high priestess reverse. Okay, so there's <clears throat> there's something that's hidden here. That you're hesitant about. You're hesitant. Like your intuition. I feel like some of you may may have not followed your intuition in the past. Okay. Maybe to find out that this person was being very manipulative with that King of Cups in the reverse. So now you're hesitant. It's like you you see the light, like you see the light about the situation. Before, I feel like you may have been stuck in an illusion or a thought or in your mind about it. But now I feel like you're hesitant on making a decision, okay? Ten of Pentacles and the Hermit Reverse. It's like you don't want someone to find out, okay? Um, maybe someone is married here because I got the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. This may rip a family apart. I'm going to keep me out of it. Yeah, I'm going to keep me out of it. King of Cups reverse. Hierophant. Taurus's energy. But I'm getting like it's someone's there's some sexual energy here. Someone has multiple partners. I'm seeing that as well with the seven of cups and the ace of wands. Both of these cards are in the reverse, so it's a no. Like I'm getting like a no. They can't even pay you. They can't pay you enough. Mm -mm. I'm just getting like you don't want anything to do with it. Um What's the higher thing here? And now the Ace of Wands comes out upright. 
Yeah, I'm getting like you don't want to respond to something. You're not responding to something. Like it's it's not what you want. King of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Cups reverse. And when we got this moon card, somebody's trying to keep some secrets here. We got the moon and the two of pentacles. Somebody wants this to be kept a secret. Mm. The sun card, you could be dealing with a, a, a Leo. I got Libra's energy here. And I got the eight of wands. Something's coming to the light. Oh, I'm getting some sexual energy. I'm getting some sexual energy. But I'm getting like someone may have told you a secret. Maybe you're caught in the middle of it. I'm telling you, see, with this, this is a divorce or this is a family split. This could involve family, but I'm getting a divorce. So you're hesitant about it. You feel like, you know, wait, let, wait, let, let's wait this out. I'm getting as well, like, not wanting to give someone a reason to be mad. So, I feel like you're putting something on hold. Yeah, you're tired of going back and forth with someone. You want to close a chapter. You want to close a troublesome chapter. We got that five of pentacles, the tower, and the ten of wands. This is something that is, uh, this is so dramatic. There's something that's like being broken down, okay? Something that's being broken down, completely broken down. Um, I'm getting like it's completely broken down. You may feel left out in the cold or rejected, or you feel like you may be rejected. Your finances may be a concern as well, too. Some of you are ready to go back to work or trying to find, um, oh yeah, see, the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, there's definitely a ending to like a, a job. Some of you may decide to quit a job. There may be a layoff or there's just something that isn't working. Okay. There's a final decision. Like I'm getting like may, somebody needs to have like this wake up call with the judgment and the queen of swords that there needs to be an ending. There needs to be. Something is just not working. Somebody's going to have to get cut off, okay? But I feel like you're hesitating to cut this person or this situation off. Queen of Wands reverse. Mm, I really don't like that energy in this read. Yeah, like, somebody's asking for sex, point blank in a period. Or sex or drugs. Um... Just point blank, period. Like, I'm just getting it. 
Look at this. The King of Wands reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse. And it's so funny because, I mean, I want to say it. I'm, I want to say it. It's like, to, like, how you view the situation, you like, oh, it's, you know, a hot girl and a hot boy together. Let's do it. Or you see this situation like that. Look, the Empress reverse. Like, you, you see this, you, you don't see this as a, a match made in heaven. You see, there's a lot of flirting going on. How this other person is viewing this situation. Somebody here is older. Somebody's a sugar daddy. Somebody is a sugar daddy. The Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles. I guess. Somebody is a sugar daddy. We got you here with the Queen of Pentacles energy. And the two of swords and the ace of swords. You may tell this person, like, you're not looking for a relationship or a relationship, you know. It's not what you're looking for. You're possibly keeping your options open and you're ready to cut this person or situation off at any given time. But we got the five of cups here. The five of cups. And the queen of cups and the judgment. Like, you're having regrets, okay? You're regretting um, a decision. You regret, you're going to, I feel like if this is you in this situation, you're going to end up regretting it. Yep, the lover's reverse. The lover's reverse and the three of swords and the page of swords and the four of cups. Like, it's just going to be a disappointment, okay? It's just going to be a disappointment. I'm going to keep it all the way real with y'all. It's just going to be a disappointment. So either this is somebody that you're affiliated with or around or this is the energy that pops up or this could be you going through this situation. It's not going to end up, it's not going to turn out good. It's not going to be a good situation at all, all right? So if you guys would like to book a personal reading, that information is in the drop box below. I will chat with y'all later. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the read in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share with your family and your friends, okay? Until next time, ciao.